Hello and welcome to Batch Pose Transfer using PoseMaster for DAS Studio. In my scene I've loaded two figures, Genesis, that's the blue figure, and the green Michael 4, and I'm going to show you how to batch convert a set of Genesis poses to Michael 4. The poses I'm going to convert are the Genesis default basic male poses. There are 19 of them, we can see them here. So to do that I'm going to select Michael which is the target figure and launch Pose Master Batch. So here I confirm that my source and target figure are correct and then I need to specify the source folder where those poses are and the target folder where I want to save the converted poses. So for the source folder I'm going to go in my library under people genesis poses basic mail that folder contains the 19 poses let me show you here we go this is the folder and we can see those 19 genesis poses there with their thumbnails for the target folder i'm going to create in the same folder i create an m4 subfolder and that's where we're going to save the converted m4 poses i want to convert position rotation and scale to m4 and for the offset file I need to choose m4 genesis 0 pose so it's for m4 that's the target figure and the offset we want to apply for m4 is the genesis 0 pose offset and then because of the skeleton differences between genesis and m4 I also need to choose the m4 from genesis skeleton map that's because we're transferring a genesis pose to m4 the reason it's named M4 from Genesis and not Genesis to M4 is because when you've got M4 selected it's easier to find M4 in the list. Copy thumbnails will copy the existing Genesis pose thumbnails over to the M4 thumbnails after conversion so that they will show up in content library with thumbnails and override warnings will ask me before overwriting any files. Now when I'm ready I can click accept and PoseMaster gets to work converting the poses. You will notice a dialog box pops up for every pose. Unfortunately this is something which we cannot automate in the current version of DAS Studio that's 4.0.37. We will automate this in a future release of DAS Studio. For the time being the save pose preset that's to save out the converted M4 pose is going to ask you show you a dialog box for every pose. Now there's an easy way to do this I can just click Michael 4 and click accept and it will save out straight away. The, the problem with that is that the save pose preset will save not only the pose transforms but also morphs and other modified properties. So if I've got a morphed figure and I apply this saved pose in the future it will overwrite all my morphs. There is a way around that using PoseMaster and I will show you how at the end of the tutorial. An alternative approach if you prefer a cleaner pose preset is on this dialog box to deselect all channels and then to select all transforms. So what we now have is when we save it out it will be a clean pose preset. It will contain only pose information. For this video I'm going to do the lazy way and I'm just going to click Michael 4 and click accept and it's going to save out that pose with all of the morphs and other modified properties. And now I'm going to fast forward. Right, PoseMaster has told us it successfully converted all 19 poses. So we can click on OK and let's go and take a look at the poses that it's converted. So back in our Genesis poses basic mail folder we've got all of our Genesis poses if we go into the M4 subfolder we can see all of the M4 converted poses here with thumbnails right let's test one of those poses out so I'm going to zero Michael Four's position and I'm going to zero Genesis's position And now I'm going to apply one of those Genesis default male poses. Let's choose the flying kick. 
that's a good one and let's apply the same converted pose to Michael now the I have not scanned for the new poses so they're not in my pose library so I'm just going to import them let's choose male flying kick that's one of the M4 converted poses there we go and as you can see that's been a pretty good conversion you'll notice Genesis right leg is in the same pose but higher than Michael's leg that's because Genesis has a pelvis bone between its hip and its thigh bones so you do see that when the legs are extended out to the side so that's quite a good conversion and you can go and test all the others now I'll hide Genesis before we finish I wanted to show you what to do if you had selected the easy convert option like I had and not deselected the morphs and all the other modified properties. Let's go and apply some morphs to Michael. We'll give him a big head and a big chest, nice big hands, long legs, and some nice big feet. There we go, we've got a nice morphed Michael here. Now we want to go and reapply one of those converted poses. So I'll choose the same one, male flying kick. As you can see, we have lost the morphs that we had applied to Michael because it was not a clean pose preset. I just clicked Michael and clicked accept for the save pose preset conversion. But I can use Pose Master to strip out the non-pose information in that pose preset. What I'm going to do is, with Michael selected, I say Pose Master copy. I've now copied the pose information. I will undo the import of the converted pose. So here we go. Here's our morphed Michael again. And now I'm going to paste the pose that we've just copied. And there you go. You can see we have got Michael back in the right position, but he's retained his morphs. So we can use Pose Master to strip non-pose related information out of those converted poses. That brings us to the end of the batch conversion. Thank you.